What's up guys, we're right here at Spirit Halloween in Noblesville, Indiana. Let's go inside and see what awesome Halloween stuff they have. All right, we are greeted by Stilts and the Straw Man. We are hardly ever greeted by the Straw Man. Let's get him going. You aren't afraid of little me. I love the sound of the hooing owl behind us. The dead leaves all around us and the darkness wraps around us like a million blankets. $330 for the straw man. He would go great at a pumpkin patch. All right, we've got stilts over here. Juggle your pins for me, stilts. $350 for him. I love his cracking neck. Good to see you, Stilts. All right, we've got the Martian Warrior here. I love that they have him always. Let's go, Martian Warrior. Pew, 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 pew. I love the sounds that he makes. He is great. And look at that big old brain. All right, poor George is usually around the corner here. Is that him? No, it's Heckles. All right, I love that Heckles is here. Step right up, step right up, and get your balloons and here. Get your balloons Only here. And then, and what's the day to search you without a balloon? Just don't <laughs> come and knocking for refunds. <laughs> He is so awesome. He is a hilarious animatronic. What great quotes he has. All right, we've got Slim over here. He's got a wire around his neck. What in the world? All right, come on, Slim. Do, 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 do. Honk, honk. Gotta love Slim. All right, thank you, Mr. Slim. Let's go around the corner here and see. Oh, yes, we do have the widow. I love the widow. <laughs> she is so great. One of my favorites. She was online only last year, so I'm glad we get to see her in the store this year. Let's go on inside here to see Mr. Dagger Mike and the sitting scarecrow. We'll do the scarecrow first. So cool. He is a great classic, and so is Mr. Dagger Mike over here. Come on, Mr. Dagger Mike. <laughs> he is loud, too. Thank you, Mr. Ball Dagger Mike, for jumping and spooking us. And here is the graphics up here. I love the skeletons. That is so funny. He takes out his eyeball and shows it to you. How cool. They have the volume on that turned up nice and loud, too, so you can hear it. There's the green spirits. Oh, very cool. Here is a whole circle of animatronics, the Howling Spirit. We have a little Skelly Bones here. Emmeline, Young Crouchy, Young Crouchy and Skelly Bones together. How awesome. Fogging Skull Piles. Here's the Colderness. I really wish they would have her set up with fog. Ooh, 50% off for her as well, $140. What does this say? Does, doesn't work, can't be built to completion hmm okay you can buy the extra parts to complete him 50 percent off that's a good deal and we've got two of the widow over here how great the back area is set up with the hex spawn i'm so glad we're seeing more and more of him this year we didn't see a lot of him beginning in the season there he goes so tall What an awesome tall animatronic. I love that. Cool. Okay, we've got the howling spirit right here. I love visiting Spirit Halloween. It's so fun. 
And of course, we've got the gargoyle right here with his red glowing eyes. Thank you, Mr. Gargoyle. We've got Darling Dolly next to the creepy tree. We have to see Darling Dolly drop down at us. She is great and I love her hair. She is so cool and she is $280. Here's Gordo right here. Let's go Gordo, pop up at me. Yes. I want to carve a pumpkin just like Gordo, and I'd have to put something in the middle to make him stand up like that and then hang all the guts out. He is great. All right, Mr. Riz Reaper with the girlfriend peeking above his arm. You are now mine for all time. Together, we shall roam among the living and find our next victim. All right, thank you, Mr. Blackheart. Over here, we've got the Whispering Grave Watcher. I love when they have her turned up loud so you actually can hear what she is saying. Desmodus, will you work for me? The step pad is kind of underneath the thing here, but I don't think he's working. Oh, there were skelly bones. All right, Desmodus must not be working, but that's okay, we do love to see him. Let's knock on the door and see if Mr. Spider's awake. Oh, he's already jumped out. There he is. I love the spiders. Let's see what babies they have. They do have Ghostface and Sam and plenty of zombies here. Snackin' Stevie, Mothy Max, Wretched Ralphie with his tasty rat, Ravenous Ruby over here with her delicious cockroaches. We have three of Devil Cherub here. He is very cool with the red glowing eyes. And we have Spider Biter Billy biting his spiders. Here's a sleigh time hiding underneath him. And of course we have Gorius George, we always have a bunch of him. And look, we have Gutsy Gwen. We haven't seen her in a little bit. Good to see a Gutsy Gwen. Another one that we haven't seen in a little bit is Chompin' Connie. Here she is, Chompin' on the brain. I see a ghost face sidestepper. Will you work for me? Yes. He is so cool. Him and Leatherface are my favorites, but I don't see Leatherface here. I do see a Chucky. Will, oh, there he goes. He is a very cool sidestepper. Plenty of the talking Chuckies and greeters. And we have Ghostface inflatables over here. And we have the Leatherface statue. I do not see Glenn dolls. They sell out so quickly. Oh, look, we have a bunch of the Leatherface right here. Sweet. He is so cool. I definitely want to buy him at some point. Here's all the door covers. Somebody posted a picture of the door covers on the Facebook page, and these things are like an elastic. They fit around the door very well, and you can't even tell anything is connected to the door from the other side. So you could kind of put two on there, one on one side and one on the other. And I would probably get uh, Michael Myers and Leatherface or maybe Ghostface, but oh, there he is, the Ghostface one. Actually, this one's just the hanging wall to there is one with Ghostface breaking out of the glass, and that's the other one that I would really want. Here's the Chucky breaking out of the glass door cover right there. That is also an awesome one. And these are $23 a piece. Over here at the masks, I do spy a couple of awesome things. Oh my gosh. Including the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. I want it so bad for $70. I might get him by the end of the year because I have the regular one. And look at this. You never, ever, ever see this from Ruby's The Jeepers Creepers Mask. It is so, so cool. Look at how shiny and gross he is. This is $60. Not a bad price either. Look at that ponytail. This is crazy. I never see it. I'm so excited that we found it. How awesome is that? And a great packaging too. Ruby's did a great job with that. Awesome. I also see the Crouchy Mask over here and look, it's on clearance for $50. 
dollars. It's usually, I think, like 60 or 70 dollars, but this one does not have the gloves with him. We also have the Toxic Nozzles Clown. Let's see if he will light up for us. No, that is too bad. Is there a tab? No. 30 dollars on clearance. I wonder if that's why they have him on clearance. Let's see if this one works. No, wow. He must be out of batteries. They all are on clearance, actually. Oops, I dropped the mask. They also have a wacky mole down there. Let's see if he will light up for us. And I do see a tab, but it's already pulled. Please light up for us. No, I guess not. They must have ran out his batteries. Look at how the teeth look like candy corns. I love that. Here's the Momo mask. This one is a popular one. Look at how scary that is. I love it. Let's see how much Momo is. That is $40. A little bit pricey for me, but he is awesome. And he goes well with Jeff the Killer. They both are kind of a similar mask right there. Both of them are equally as freaky. And they have my favorite Jason mask right here. When you lift it up, it has his freaky face. I love this one so much. From Ruby's as well for $60. Ruby's does such a good job with their masks. Look at this. They have the Jabberin' Jack. I have not seen this in the store yet this year. How cool. And this is a white pumpkin version of him. How awesome. 70 minutes of custom animation. It's got a little projector in there to do his face so his face moves and talks and tells jokes he is an awesome pumpkin i kind of want him and he is 35 dollars not too bad they have the awesome blow mold pumpkins here this one looks like a purple witch this one looks like a green witch this one looks like a clown and this one looks like a skull and this one is actually a piece in the monopoly game the spirit halloween monopoly game that is really cool and this one is an orange pumpkin skull. I wonder if the kicking clown is going to work. This is not the kicking clown. This is the witch, or not the witch, the uh, nurse. She is cool. She shakes and moans. She is hilarious. Look at that nasty white hair. I would like this guy to work. He usually flaps his wings and has some creepy sounds, but his batteries are always dead. They have a couple different kinds of caution tape here. These would be great just to decorate around the house. It'd be a nice touch to your Halloween decorations. This one says biohazard zone keep out. That's pretty cool for $6. And they have the warning crime scene do not cross also for $6. And these are 100 feet in length. That is a pretty good deal. If you're going to get either of these, you're probably going to want to get the body bag. That would go well with that decoration. And the body bag is... $20 and it is five foot tall. So it is basically life-sized. Here's the fresh grave mound. It makes it look like you have a nice freshly dug grave right there with dirt for $15. That would go great with a graveyard setting and they have plenty of graves somewhere around here. Check this out. They do have the chainsaws. Chainsaws are kind of hard to find, but they are awesome. I think these are like $80 a piece. I love these things so much. These are, oh no, they're actually $50 a piece. I way overestimated, but that is not a bad deal. I do not see any of the graves. That's kind of weird. They have to be somewhere around here. They usually have a whole wall full of them. Here they are right over here by the back area. Plenty of graves for your graveyard setting. There's a pet graveyard sign right there. I like this one right here. Nice and tall, says RIP and has some candles on it. This one has a crow on the top. Plenty of awesome graves here. And they have fences too. This one has skulls on it. This one has some jack-o'-lanterns on it. That's a pretty creepy one. And this is the regular bronze one. And it does have a little skull on the top. Those will be great to complete your graveyard setting. They do have the Haunted Mansion three-pack side steppers. These are a great deal. Let's see how much these actually cost. They are $100 for all three of them. And they have the Haunted Mansion snow globe right here with the dog. I love that little dog. This thing is pretty cool. I think those are bats in there. Let's shake it and see if it is. I believe it. Yes, it is bats. How cool is that? Awesome. There's a nice close up there of the dog. How hilarious is that? And this is $45. Here's the Oogie Boogie Operation game. I kind of want this one. I love Operation. I grew up playing this game. And this is 
$40, not too bad and very creative. Oh, and I just noticed, look at this, he says some quotes. Ooh, I'm really scared. How awesome is that? We have a Crouchy plush here. There is only one, so come and get him. We also have Annabelle and the people from Corpse Bride. What are their names? Victor and Emily, very cool. They have a couple of the awesome book bags too. Here's Sam right there. This is an awesome ghost face and Nightmare Before Christmas with the awesome jack-o'-lantern and they have a Chucky bag. Look at this, we have another Crouchy hiding over here amongst the pillows, that is awesome. And look at this, the skeleton pillow, I love this one. He is $30. Oh look, another Crouchy. They're just kind of hiding him throughout here. This is a great Sam trick-or-treat fleece throw. Look at the moon behind him, I love the moon. He is holding the candy bar with the blade in it. How cool is that? He is $33. And right over here we have the Willy Wonka blanket. And if you look at the design right there, it's the wallpaper. The snozberries taste like snozberries. And this one is $45. They do have the giant Huggy Wuggy masks. Boy, that music is loud. But I love these Huggy Wuggy masks with the red light up eyes. He's not working right now, but they have Huggy Wuggy and they have Kissy Missy back there. Plenty of ninja costumes here if you want to be a ninja for Halloween. We've got the light up skeleton ninja, ultimate ninja right there. I like that blue. Extreme lightning ninja. That's a cool one. This one is $40, $30 for that, and $40 for that. And they have the apocalypse ninja. That is also a super cool freaky one for $40. Here's a silver mirror ninja with mirror eyepiece right there. This one is $30. They have so many of these ninjas. Look, the deluxe dragon ninja. That's also an awesome one right there for $35. I have been keeping my eye out for the bobblehead pumpkin costume, but I have not seen it since last year. But what I do see is Lord Raven. How cool. We never see this for $45. Based on the animatronic from 2022, we also had the light up jack-o'-lantern costume right there. That is awesome for $45. And they have the Jack the Reaper costume right there, a very popular one for $45 as well. I don't think we looked at the inflatables, but they have plenty of them. Every one that we love. You don't see these at every store. Look at this. They've got the fur mink coat if you want to be a rich person for Halloween. And they have the money jacket. I would love to have this. That's actually the whole suit right there. How awesome. For $70. Very cool. I've never seen this before. The crossbody disco ball bag. That is hilarious. $25. I wish it actually had the little mirror pieces on it, but it's still pretty cool and you get the idea. That would go well with this Disco Diva costume right here. Jumpsuit, belt, and hair piece. But look at the bag that she has. That's more of a disco ball right there. $40 for that one. Or if you're a dude, you could get the Disco Dude right there. Shirt, pants, and necklace. This shirt is super shiny and this is $50. I see the taser over here. I love this taser. If I was going to be a police officer for Halloween, I would totally get the taser. Let's see if one of these yes this one works awesome you could run around tasing people at your halloween party or if you don't want that you can get a club and go around beating people at your party or writing violations to them i love the cop stuff they've got cop mustaches badges id badge necklaces all kinds of extras for these and here's the police officer costumes 35 dollars for that jailbird right here would go well with that for 25 dollars or the escaped convict for 40. they also have a sheriff kit right here for $35. And if you're going to be the sheriff, you're going to have to go right over here to get the deluxe ranger hat or the fedora or the adventure hat. Any of these would work well with the sheriff. I would probably get the ranger hat and that one is $13. Not too bad at all. And that looks like something a sheriff would wear. They also have these awesome SWAT helmets. Look at this hard plastic. I love that. Looks kind of like a welding helmet too and that one is $15 or you can get this regular army helmet right here if you want to be a soldier for Halloween I would like to do that one here or you can get this if you're going to go to a toga party this is an awesome viking helmet for $13 okay guys that's it for Spirit Halloween in Noblesville Indiana thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one